I'm sitting in our brand new Vision Jet G2 Plus mock-up here at Oshkosh. It's the last day, super excited. And this video is a little bit different than what you've normally find on the channel. And it's a whole bunch of video clips that I had during my Vision Jet type training in May of 2021. Got to go out and do mentorship training and fly around, get real world experience. And uh, went from Knoxville all the way to the West Coast, Santa Monica, California, Las Vegas. Colorado, Telluride and all that. And it was so cool to be able to go out and do uh, fly around and see some amazing things. So this video is just little pieces of uh, things that I filmed along the way of, of having a great time in the vision jet. One minute to three minute clips, just randomly evening, navigating around thunderstorms with the radar, uh, programming arrivals and the avionics, doing engine start. So really cool. So hopefully you enjoy it. It's a little longer, but if you don't like what you see, just kind of keep stringing along in the video and you'll be able to find something that I think you'll, you'll find a lot of fun. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Always appreciate the like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions about something you see on the, on the jet uh, and I'll do my best to answer it and uh, have a lot of fun. So anyway, thanks. Enjoy. Beautiful evening out of Denver right now. We're just east of Denver climbing through uh, 21,000 feet. We just broke out on top here. Uh, and we had some ice. You can see on the ice lights here that we've got a little uh, going up the wing. I've got our uh, wing and engine anti-ice on right now, uh, which is great. And then if you look over here, you can start to see how we've got uh, some weather off our right. And here it is, just looking fantastic and beautiful. Our route is going to go pretty much straight down this way. You can start to see some of these flashes. So let's see if we can catch some of these here of lightning. Uh, it's a pretty gnarly storm just off our right. Uh, beautiful evening home. We're on our way to Chicago. Once we climb up, level off, uh, it should be you know, about just two hours or less in Chicago this evening. So it's going to be beautiful. But for now, just watch a few of these storms. weather radar really comes in helpful and if we go ahead and power the radar up I can go ahead and hit home split the screen there we go and I'm going to go ahead and turn our weather radar on It's 
uh, Saturday afternoon out on the West Coast. Heading back to Chicago. Just took off out of Santa Barbara. I thought I'd show you around here really quick. We are um, climbing through 29,000 feet. We're going to level off at 31,000 feet. To give you a little tour of where we're at right now, uh, really cool. So here's SoCal, LA. That's right off our way. There's the ocean way out there, and then this is the LA basin. Uh, and uh, back behind those mountains is Palm Spring, just for some reference. Some really cool things outside uh, that you can sort of see here is uh, this complex here, that dry lake, dry lake bed is uh, Edwards Air Force Base where they did a lot of like that uh, military testing and all that. That's actually a sh uh, space shuttle alternate landing site where they've landed a few different times. This uh, airport right here is another kind of U.S. Air Force uh, plant, manufacturing plant. They do some pretty cool things, but it's really fantastic. I got my wife here with me. We just come back to Chicago. It's about uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon out here. We should be home in Chicago oh, 10, 11 o'clock at night. We're going to stop in Denver for some fuel. And uh, right now it's 2 hours and 51 minutes before we land there, but we're still on a climb. We're going to level off, so we're going to accelerate almost 100 extra knots here. Uh, you can accelerate 100 extra knots, so that time is going to come way down, and uh, it's going to be fantastic. So here we are, we're leveling off at 31,000 feet. It's being captured right now, and uh, we're in a little bit of a turn. Our next stop is uh, uh, we're going to fly over the top of Las Vegas, and we're good. We're in Las Vegas. All right, air traffic control just gave us direct to Las Vegas. So I'm gonna to go to our flight plan, find our fix down here, go direct to it, activate it. We're already in the nav mode, and uh, here we go, we're in a turn. So we're in our turn, you can already see that it's accelerated right here. And uh, our time and route is really starting to come down. And that should drop to, oh, I would say roughly, hopefully uh, about two hours and 20 minutes or even lower than that, two hours and 10 minutes. So here we are, we're still accelerating. Up at altitude like this, it takes about, uh, let's call it three or four minutes to fully accelerate to our speed. So we've been level here for two or three minutes now, and another two or three minutes we're going to like that and uh, you can see our time is really coming down as we as we accelerate so that's one thing to consider our fuel over destination increases as we go faster so we'll have plenty of fuel when we land uh, and uh, we're looking great so we're already looking good Denver here we come all right, we're in Santa Barbara here. We're, we're spooled up. This guy over here was really awesome. He came over and asked about the Vision Jet. Got another one parked right here, and uh, Memorial Day weekend is going really well here. There's Lika. Hello. We're gonna fly back to Chicago right now. It's three in the afternoon. Be back around 11 o'clock tonight, which should be great, Chicago time. Uh, but we've got everything fired up here. We're looking excellent, and I'm gonna go ahead and just get our checklist pulled up. I'm going to split the screens, come over here, and here's our checklist. So our before pre-flight uh, pre inspection is complete. All of our doors are good. We've got our parking brake. That's all set. Batteries uh, one and two are on. Generators one and two are on. External GPU is uh, not connected. And here we go. So we've got our strobe lights. Those are going to come on. Gas messages. Those are good. We're just making sure that we don't see the emergency or start volts. Thrust lever is going to come back down to idle, which it is. Brakes are going to be held. We're going to go to the engine knob to run. Fuel pump. We're going to verify that we can hear it and see it. And then uh, go ahead and start the, the engine. So I'm going to come over here go to the run we're going to listen for the pump see the pump we hear it we got it and here we go 
Gonna look for N2, that's good. A light off, fantastic. This is rising pretty well, that's great. We've got N1, oil, fantastic. N2, or ITT is coming down. it down in here to go ahead and follow the checklist EIS ice protection is good ECS panel we go ahead and turn that on auto and cool so that's gonna open up and start cooling us down GPUs disconnected oxygen is on fresh air is on avionics we're gonna initialize and hold there and work through this here so good start we're ready to go to Denver then Chicago all right, so we're getting closer to our storm here. We're at uh, flight level 290. The reason why we're stuck at the moment, this is a big arrival stream coming into Denver. So we're below them at the moment. Why they get, and once we get past, we're gonna start our climb. But check this out. We're uh, almost 60 miles away from our storm. If I zoom in over here, you can start to see that's coming into a little bit better view. A lot of lightning, maybe take a little bit more of a cut, you can see that anvil go way out here. So we want to try to get as far out in front of that as possible, so we might take a little bit of a deviation to the right. Uh, but it's beautiful, you can really see the storm and the structure behind it. There's a, uh, a kind of a rear flank that goes up into the updraft, so the most powerful part of the storm is uh, goes up here, and then it is raining in the, in the front part. So our updraft is right here, the rain, our major downdraft is back there, and we also have kind of like an inlet jet that is uh, pulling air in here. So you got a uh, big, uh, big storm. You can really see where it's raining. All that is powerful rain and uh, uh, potentially hail as the updraft gets pushed and stretched out. The stratus, uh, the top of the strat or uh, the troposphere, or stratus right here, atmosphere is uh, really acting as a cap. So this storm is uh, powerful, but it's not as powerful as a supercell because it can punch up. You can see a little dome up above here. So it's uh, super cool to be able to see this thing. This is one of the longest handles I've seen in a long time. It just goes way out there. So beautiful looking storm here uh, and quite powerful. So just as a recap, we have a sort of a rear flank coming in, an inlet jet coming in here. The most powerful part of the storm goes up. That anvil gets pushed way out. You can really see the rain and uh, the, the atmospheric cap has this beautiful, that's one of the most smoothest, uh, uh, smoothest uh, tops of a cloud or a thunderstorm right now that I've ever seen. So really beautiful. And we can see it even closer and better here. This is starting to weaken, but I can tell you that that's very powerful, so we gotta go ahead and uh, tilt the, the radar down so that we can see it a little bit more. So on our next sweep, this should actually turn into a little bit more red, so we wanna point it down. You can see all the red that shows up. So it starts to really match that. Beautiful. So we just asked air traffic control for a right deviation and we're going to do that now. We're going to go up to about 15 to the right and uh, that, our goal is to get on the tip of that anvil and sort of parallel it and be outside of it. So we're going to go to the weaker, most weakest part so that way you can start to see even inside here, look at all of that. A lot of, a lot of energy and heat coming out of that. We have all that rain and the maddest clouds. Stunning. So this heading right now should be able to put us uh, straight ahead and uh, it's just nice. So you can use our track vector to see what, what the anvil does. So really beautiful. All right, we're coming up on some really interesting stuff now. Vector Mill is just on our map. 
there's this uh, dry lake bed here where they've got a shuttle in. There's a whole runway that spans this entire dry lake bed, uh, and that's for the shuttle. But over here, we've got the Victorville Airport on the other side of those mountains, this Southern California, or SoCal, if you will. It just goes on forever. It's wonderful and fantastic. 